All right, kids, welcome. Today we're just going to be talking about what you guys need to do for brief two in your Colonial America packet. So brief two starts on page 57 and it's titled Pilgrims and Puritans. So the main focus of this is that Pilgrims and Puritans came to North America seeking religious freedom. So I'm going to go ahead and read this to you guys. The Church of England was the name of the national religion of England. In the 16th century, there was a group of English people who did not want to be part of this church. These people disagreed with the church on important issues. Some of these people were called separatists. Separatists were people who wanted to break away from the Church of England. The separatists. Sometimes the separatists were treated unfairly because of their religious beliefs. When a person or a group of people is treated unfairly because of their beliefs, it is called persecution. Religious persecution is the reason the separatists wanted to leave England. William Bradford was a separatist leader. He asked the Virginia Company if a group of separatists could build a settlement in North America. The Virginia Company agreed. And the Mayflower. In 1620, a ship called the Mayflower set sail for North America. 100 separatists were on board. The separatists became known as pilgrims. A pilgrim is a person who goes on a journey for religious reasons. The Mayflower was bound for the Virginia colony at Jamestown. The ship was blown off course. It landed at what we now call Cape Cod in Massachusetts. The pilgrims called the Stony Harbor. They docked at Plymouth. The pilgrims called the first rock they stepped on to get ashore Plymouth Rock. While still at sea, the pilgrims wrote the Mayflower Compact. The Mayflower Compact was a written agreement made among the pilgrims. It stated that the pilgrims would stick together and create fair laws that everyone agreed to live by. The Mayflower Compact was signed by all of the men. The women were not permitted to sign. The Wampanoaga. Life in the new colony was hard for the pilgrims. They arrived during the winter. Half of the settler di settlers died within the first three months. Some died from hunger, others died from disease. The Wampanoaga continued. The following spring, the pilgrims met an Indian named Samoset. He belonged to the Wampanoag tribe. He knew how to speak English and welcomed the pilgrims. Samoset introduced the pilgrims to another Indian called Squanto. Squanto also knew how to speak English. He helped the pilgrims make a peace treaty with the chief of Wampanoaga named Masatoit. Thanksgiving. The pilgrims didn't have the skills they needed to survive in this new land. Squanto showed the pilgrims the best places for fishing and hunting. He taught them how to grow corn. Squanto helped the pilgrims survive. In the fall, the pilgrims decided to have a celebration to give thanks to Squanto and the Wampanoag for all they had done to help them. This celebration came to be called Thanksgiving. The first Thanksgiving lasted for three days. The pilgrims and the Indians ate, played games, and had a parade. The Puritans. The Puritans were another group of English people who disagreed with the Church of England. They wanted to change or purify the church. Like it's the separatists, they were persecuted for their beliefs. The English king, James I, said of them, I will make them conform or I will harry them out of the land. John Winthrop was the leader of the Puritans. In 1630, he, along with a thousand people, sailed to North America. They started a new Puritan colony. They called it the Massachusetts Bay Colony. The Puritans built their main settlement along the Massachusetts Bay. They called this settlement Boston. This colony grew very quickly. Boston was the largest city in the English colonies for over 100 years. Okay, so to go along with brief two, you are going to pretend that you are a newspaper journalist and you are gonna write an article about Thanksgiving. In this article, you need to do at least six sentences and you need to have at least one quote from the text. So make sure you are quoting accurately. In your article, you are going to tell me who the separatists are, and they're also the pilgrims, so who are the pilgrims? Who helped them when they got to America? Why did they host the first Thanksgiving? And what happened at Thanksgiving? What did they do? It told us how long it lasted and what they did. Okay, you're also gonna draw a picture of what you think the first Thanksgiving looked like and put that onto a piece of paper. Some of you have a paper that looks like this. It needs to be on this if you have it. Those of you who are in class, you will have this. If you are distance learning, that did not get sent home to you. You can just write this on any piece of paper. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.